call me crazy, but I tried to create my slides using Daytona and Cursor ID. So let me show you. This is a one line command, which basically creates a dev environment from my GitHub repo. It targets remote machine, which is on Equinix. It's a bare metal machine. It's a Ubuntu machine. And then it passes the argument to start code uh, or basically ID. So here you see this is happening quite fast. We are already starting a dev container. Uh, and running npm install, uh, so this is done, starting SSH server, and now it will open my ID. I'm using cursor uh, for creating slides. I know it's an overkill, everything looks like an overkill, but that's me, and you have this kind of love and hate, rela I have a, this kind of love and hate relationship with, uh, with tasks like this. Ideally, I like to procrastinate and complicate my life a bit, but uh, this gives me also immense power in and control over my work. So here we see uh, we have connected uh, to a remote workspace running inside Docker container on the remote bare metal machine, uh, installing everything that's needed. Uh, basically, my slides are in play markdown. You can see them here and we can now start the dev server and that should be something like yarn run dev remote to enable a remote control and now we have it uh, any moment now but while we wait for server to load let's do one more thing and then expose this presentation to internet uh, so I'm running the Tona forwarding ports. We are using FRP. Uh, I have a QR code here. I also have, uh, I also have this short link. You can see it running on localhost, uh, but I can also open it, uh, through a tunnel and you can share this preview link with anyone. So it's really interesting use case. Uh, someone will say an overkill. But basically, you have a QR code, uh, you can share it, you can play with it. And also, when you see uh, the power of, curs of cursor IDE, even for this simple use case, like I could say, improve this, uh, sorry, improve, whatever. Let's see what will happen now. So, okay, the vertical clicks, some new points, which is interesting in cursor, you can also uh, undo your instructions to AI, or maybe you can even have tab complete for single lines. So even for this simple use case, um, uh, it works really well. So here it is, three minutes in, we have, uh, we have slides running, we can share it with the world, and we are using Cursor ID to uh, change and improve on Markdown file. So that was it. Have a great day. Bye.